Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add wires to your scene. And what I mean by that I mean long tubular things to connect stuff. Basically for decoration purposes. So I've already set up a scene here that if I render it will look something like this. But clearly there's something missing. And those are wires. So I'm going to show you how to add wires to a scene. So um, I'll go here in top view and get close to one of these. Um, oh, just now I noticed how, how large is the gap on these segments here. <laughs> and um, I'm going to add, add um, press shift A, go to curve curve and add um, a circle and where is that somewhere around here so so I'm going to move it up to be able to see it scale it a bit down so I have the circle right what I also need to add, well first of all, I'm gonna select this uh, post here, press tab, and select this vertis, vertex here, and press Control S, and move my cursor to the selected vertex, S and now I can add a Bezier curve, somewhere around here, and I'm going to move this point right here and take this point and move it all the way here to the other post and also make sure it's as parallel as possible to the street something like this and now I can go to side mode and I have the curve selected right and I'm going to name it uh, wire and go here to the object data tab and here we have this uh, geometry section and here at bevel object I'm going to click here and select is your circle and now you can see it has created a, a tube uh, alongside the path so but of course this is very huge for a wire so what I need to do is scale the circle down a lot Let's see how it renders. Yeah, something like that. So now I have it selected. Go back in edit mode. And I need to subdivide this a few times to make it look more natural like a wire so basically I'm adding the curve and I'm also rotating it to look as natural as possible right and I just put here this at the right points like this give it a black material like wires and something doesn't look right we need to modify a few things I 
because the curves don't look very natural. Yeah, this looks a lot better. So, basically now we have a wire. Also this little circle here, circle here, we can move it to the second layer because we don't really need it. Right. And now we need to make the wire to continue all the way on all the other posts. So what I'm going to do is go to the modifier tab and I'm going to add an array modifier. And what this array modifier does is basically is it um, duplicates the object on an axis or maybe on a curve depending on the options you choose. So basically it repeats it. And I want it to be uh, duplicated on the Y axis like that. See it continues it and set the count here yeah I think that's okay what I also need to add oh yeah so this is okay set the count to the edge of the camera all the way there and I'm also going to add another one but with different options this one will offset it somewhere to the left so basically uh, these values being relative they offset uh, the object according to its own length So you gotta play with the values a bit. I think minus minus eighteen minus seventeen. Yeah, that's the one. So now it's uh, also I've set it in that direction, and what I need to add now is another one. There is offsetting it, upsetting it down. About that. Now, if we render, we have the wires, all with little to no effort. And um, this array modifier is actually very useful because it's also used for the lamp post. I'll show you how it looks with it deactivated. Oh, sorry, did I say lamp post? No, it's not a lamp post. It's a, it's just a post thingy. So you can see with it, how it looks with with it uh, deactivated and with activated. And same goes for the suite. So in a small segment, it's arrayed. And now I can set the rendering to be at 100% resolution. So you can actually see the wires without those jagged edges. And there you have it, wires. You can use basically this procedure to create uh, tubes of uh, many other shapes and even racing tracks if you feel like it I mean for example 